chunk of mozzarella. It's all there. I just counted it. You just counted it all by yourself in your car all alone? Well, uh, actually, my cousin was there. He, he was keeping track. He was keeping track. You like the song? Yeah, me too. I'm just gonna double check. Fine. A little short. You have to rub it in. No, like you're a hundred short. We agreed on 1,400. No, we agreed on 1,500. So if you could find out another little Maryland from a supplier around here. Look, I can't afford more than 1,400. I only need this last one to complete my collection. Can you please just do 1,400 for this one? Wait here. Mayor Beth, your phone's yelling at me. Who is it? Uh, last name immediately, first name answer. All right, 1400. In the condition that when you want to sell that 1861 Lincoln, I'm Ross first. Fine. Dandy. Hello. Good morning, Mary Beth. This is Eloise from Child Services. Hey, yes, oh, okay. I'm just calling to schedule a visit to your home. I'll be in your neighborhood at the end of the month and can do the 27th. That works. Anytime. Okay. Do you have to take off work? No. I'm, uh, self-employed. Great. Mm, that's one way to put it. Just so you understand, if I don't see evidence that you're putting in the work to make a better home for your daughter, it will be a long time before you get to see her I... again. Okay. I'll see you on the 27th at 10. Uh, okay. Was it worth it? I hope so. Hey, maybe next time you'll be in the market to sell instead of buy. Get yourself a car or a bike, maybe some rollerblades. Okay, Bartholomew, thanks. Not that I don't enjoy our cousin bonding time. You guys hear that?
why would you just shut it off? We take delinquent payment very seriously here. It's one of our core values. At this point, we can't turn your power back on until we get all of the missed payments in full on top of the late fee. Yeah, I, I can do that soon, but can you at least turn the power back on just for Friday? <laughs> That's not how this works. Please. Please make your I need the power to be back on online, for Friday. As as you, you can shut it off right after, but I have someone very important coming over day. and I need the... I think you're making a wise choice. Let us know if you're in any one-of-a-kind collector's items in the future. Uh, make sure it's kept in a controlled environment so there's not too much humidity. You got it. And don't use a lint roller on the hat. It'll tear the fabric. I will do my best. Did he give you a good deal? Uh, he talked me down to 45000 Uh, I'm sorry, what was that number? If I wasn't in a rush, I could have easily sold it for sixty k So where exactly do you find these rocks? All right, rock stars. Look at what we've got here. This is a rock that I would marry in an instant if it was legally possible. I'm sure it would divorce me in three weeks when it figured out it was too good for me. This little miracle is a perfectly preserved obsidian with a dazzling bowler hat, given by its original owner, Winston Churchill of course, in 1940 to help get him through the Dunkirk evacuation. <laughs> and let me tell you, it works. <laughs> Since I acquired this buddy, my own evacuations have been buttery smooth, if you know what I mean. What have you done, Maribeth? What do you mean? I needed the money. What else was I supposed to do? Why would you give one of us up? I had no choice. You always have a choice. Are you gonna let them dictate how you live your life? No, but- How you spend your money? <laughs> I have no say in that. How you care for your children? I- had no control over that. But you do have control over this, don't you? What is the caseworker going to say when she walks into the house of a rock collector and sees an embarrassing, incomplete collection? Are you going to say, I used to have an 1861 Lincoln? Is that going to impress anybody? She's going to be here in two hours. Exactly. You still have time. You're early. Am I? Oh, would you look at that. Do you have raspberry leaf tea or raspberry ginger ale or just lemonade with raspberry? Tap water? That sounds great. Do you understand the reasons why Ophelia was removed from your home? It's a trick question. Don't answer it. No. 
I don't. She has a lot more than I had growing up. Did you start collecting rocks when you were a child? Yeah, I didn't... Uh, I didn't have a lot of toys, so they were my friends. I wanted to make sure when I grew up that I could find a way to always have them be a part of my life. <laughs> when I was a kid, I collected gum wrappers. <laughs> Used to just smell them. Oh, all the different mints. You strike me as someone who has a lot of passion, but still I wonder how much of it there is to go around. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Why are you pointing your gun at me now? I didn't do anything. I did not betray you. I mean, I sort of did, but it was a gray area, okay? It was a gray area. Okay, oh, okay. Let's, let's just calm down. Listen, Mom, if you're gonna be like this, I'm just gonna stop playing with you. Oop, hold on. I'm getting a call, or text, or fax. Let's see. Oh, boy. She's there early. <sighs> this will be fun. Listen, I gotta go, Mom. Now, there's only like 75 zombies left. You'll be fine. I'm only here to ensure that if your daughter comes back Wait, to live here... What do you mean, if? That she's coming back to a safer environment that is more nurturing and attentive to her needs. I, I always attend to her needs. Everything I do is for her. My job is all about her. Your rock collecting hobby. It's a job. It makes money. And I'll have you know, I sold one of my rocks for $45,000 this week just to turn the power back on. I take initiative. I take risks. And the evidence is all right here. All I see is a perfect representation of your priorities. Spotlight and everything. Hold up. So how'd she do? Look, when I called you guys, I had no idea she'd be taken away so quickly. I mean, just one call and she's gone. And Maribeth didn't even have a second to defend herself. And now you're seeing her at her worst because she had to get rid of something really important to her. And now I'm realizing that's kind of a stupid thing to say given the circumstances. If you really want to help, stop making excuses for her. That's all I can do for you. Could you maybe do one more thing? Could you give this to Ophelia next time you see her? If you lose hope, so will she. It is a cute elephant, though. I'm pretty sure I had one of those when I was a kid. It was 100% haunted. Full-on possessed by a demon. Well, have a good day. You're not haunted, are you? Don't ignore me. Well, Maribeth, how you feeling? You obviously don't take this as seriously as I do. I think we could both agree on that. You called them, didn't you? I'm gonna take off my scarf for this one. Don't try to deny it. I didn't know what they were going to do. Why would you do that to me? I didn't do that to you. I didn't try to hurt you. You obviously did, and for no reason. Oh, there were reasons. Name one thing I did to deserve this. It wasn't one thing. It was a snowball that just kept accumulating. It was every little sacrifice you made just so you could afford another rock. First you got rid of her stroller and all her toys so you could buy that stupid cabinet. It's a nice cabinet. And then you got rid of her bed and your car so you could keep filling it up. The cabinet was empty. It was embarrassing. Maribeth, half the times you dropped her off at my place, she was starving. I swear you forgot she existed every time you went off to buy another well-dressed pebble. Okay, stop. This is about your hatred for the rocks, isn't it? Oh, come on. You've always hated them and you know it. I don't care what you spend your time on. You could collect broken birdhouses, antique sporks, 
Limited edition air fresheners that have never been opened, but it's said that their scent would drive a person mad from intoxication. What? The point is, you don't need to give it all up. Just be honest with yourself about what really comes first. Maribeth, I know. I know that you love Ophelia more than you love your collection. I just don't think she knows. Why are you looking at us like that? Did you think that was a real gun? No. Okay. Hypothetically. If I had shot the case with a real gun, that would have been overkill, right? A much? A, li a little much, yeah. Yeah. I knew it wasn't a real gun. Okay. Got a couple things to work on, but that's fine. Thank you.